Hey everyone, this is Michael again, and this is going to be a 4K Ultra HD update. This is not a DVD, Blu-ray, and 4K uh, update because there's no uh, DVDs and no Blu-rays uh, in this video. It's all uh, 4K uh, titles that I've gotten over the past months. So I have 10 uh, titles on 4K uh, to show you all. So I'm going to start with uh, this pile over here that I have. And the first one that I got, and I bought this on Blu-ray uh, months ago, and they announced that this was coming out to 4K, and I was like, oh, why did I buy the Blu-ray of this? Hell, I didn't even know that, uh, that they were going to put this out on 4K. But I'm going to sell the Blu-ray of this. But this is John Travolta and Nancy Allen in Blowout. It's part of the, the Criterion Collection. The film is from 1981, directed by Brian De Palma. And I saw this film on Turner Classic Movies. Uh, they were given it. They were given it uh, months ago, and so I watched it, and I really enjoyed it. John Travolta plays uh, Jack. You know his character, which is one of this is one of John Travolta's uh, best performances. And basically, John Travolta's character ends up playing a sound effects guy. And he's recording sounds for a slasher film. And he catches audio of an assassination. It's audio evidence of an assassination. And so, one night while he's recording the audio, he sees this car go off the bridge. And he ends up saving this person inside the car. And it is uh, Nancy Allen's character, Sally, which uh, her character is involved uh, in this crime. And pretty much that's basically uh, what the plot to the film uh, is about. And John Lithgow ends up uh, playing the villain uh, in the film. It's uh, shot in Philadelphia. And I think uh, the end of the film uh, with... I don't want to give it away, but the fireworks and John Travolta and Nancy Allen, that scene, just that was a very well uh, shot scene. But very good movie. Uh, check it out uh, if you guys haven't seen it. Uh, it has a new 4K digital restoration with 2.0 uh, surround DTS HD master audio soundtrack. One 4K disc of the film presented in uh, Dolby Vision HDR. So the film... Uh, has Dolby Vision as an interview with Brian De Palma, conducted by filmmaker Noah Baumbach, an interview with uh, Nancy Allen, a 1967 feature uh, by Brian De Palma called Murder a la Mod, an interview with the cameraman uh, Garrett Brown on the Steadicam shots featured in the film Within Blowout, on set uh, photographs by Louis Goldman and the theatrical trailer. And there's also an essay by uh, Michael Sarago and Pauline Kell's original New Yorker review of the film. So, yeah, so that's a blowout. Uh, definitely uh, check it out if you guys haven't seen it. Very good movie. And one of uh, John Travolta's uh, good performances. And the next one here, and I did a review of this film. This is one of my favorite films of the year. One of my favorite films of uh, the summer. And that is Bullet Train, which stars uh, Brad Pitt, uh, Aaron Taylor Johnson, Joey King, Brian Tyree Henry, Hiroki Sonata, Michael Shannon, and uh, Sandra Bullock also makes a little cameo appearance in this as well you know, at the end of the film, but very fun film this was, uh, saw this in uh, the Dolby Cinema at my local AMC when it came out, and just really, uh, really enjoyed it, had a lot of fun uh, with this film. You also have uh, Masioka, who you probably all know from Heroes, he played Hiro Nakamura, he, is, he plays the conductor uh, in this film, and you also have uh, Bad Bunny. Uh, 
make an appearance in the film as well. I also uh, really found the Thomas the Tank Engine uh, references uh, very funny. But it has over an hour of extras, including outtakes and bloopers, catch what you missed, Easter eggs, trained professionals, the cast all aboard the pain train, you know, the stunts, mission accomplished, making a bullet train, filmmaker commentary with David Leach, Kelly McCormick, and Zach Olowicz, and select scene stunt previews. So, but very fun film, uh, Bullet Train is. Check out my review of this uh, if you all haven't seen it. Brad Pitt uh, did a good job uh, as a uh, ladybug in the film. So, but check out Bullet Train uh, if you guys haven't seen it. It's worth watching. Very fun film. And this is another one that I saw in the theater uh, in the summer. And it is uh, Jordan Peele's film, Nope, which stars Daniel Kaluuya Kiki Palmer, Stephen Yan. Very uh, good movie this was. I know, you know it got uh, mixed reviews. I know some people enjoyed the film. Some people uh, didn't enjoy it. But I liked it. I found it, you know, very, found it to be a very good uh, entertained film. But I also did a review of uh, this film. So if you guys haven't checked out my review of this, definitely uh, give it a watch. But... The features it has on here has Shadows, The Making of Nope. Jordan Peele, along with the cast and crew, takes you deep inside The Making of Nope with this revealing and immersive 56-minute exclusive look behind the scenes. It also has deleted scenes and a gag reel. So I found uh, this film better uh, than Jordan Peele's uh, last film, Us, which Us was okay. I liked it, but... It wasn't as good as uh, Get Out. I think Get Out and Nope are uh, Jordan Peele's best films. But check out Nope uh, if you guys haven't seen it. You know, really uh, liked it. Found it, you know, very intense. And then I got, of course, A Christmas Story on 4K, which the film looks absolutely amazing amazing on 4k i was really impressed with the picture quality on this because they went back and they did a 4k restoration from the original camera negative which the film deserved a new restoration and i'm glad that they finally gave this film uh the restoration it deserved and the audio uh, was very good as well and it was like watching the film as it came out in 1983. The colors uh, looked absolutely great. You see a lot of uh, textures, like in uh, Randy's, uh, you know, jacket, and the, uh, of course, the uh, the pink bunny suit that uh, Ralphie uh, wears. You know, just jumps, you know, on the screen with the picture with the colors. And also, uh, when Ralphie is being up Scott Farkas, you know, the blood on Scott Farkas looks, you know, very red. So they did a uh, great job, a wonderful job uh, with the picture quality on this. I am very happy as a uh, huge fan of the film. But it has the same features that were on the, that were on the Blu-ray, uh, commentary by the late great uh, Bob Clark, who directed the film, and Peter Billingsley, and also has uh, another Christmas story, Daisy Red Rider, a history and and get a leg up, script pages, and a whole lot more. So let's go back to it, and it has a slip cover, and I got this uh, signed by Scott Shorts, aka Flick, uh, in the film uh, when I met him at the St. George Theater when they were doing. Uh, screen of this film a month ago. So, very uh, nice guy uh, he was. I showed this in uh, my Christmas Story audience reactions uh, video. Uh, if you guys uh, haven't uh, checked it out. But he wrote Michael, Triple Dog Dagger, Flick, Scott Shorts. So, that was uh, 
awesome of him uh, to uh, sign uh, my 4K of this. So that's a Christmas story. Uh, if, you, if you don't have it on 4K, highly recommend you pick up the 4K. Just amazing picture quality, good uh, sound on it. So it's worth the money to upgrade to 4K since the Blu-ray, the picture quality on the Blu-ray of A Christmas Story looked like absolute shit. It really did. Looking back on it. And then I also picked up National Lampoon's Christmas Vacation. Absolute classic. I saw this at my local uh, Alamo Draft House on Friday. Uh, I was the only one uh, in the theater, along with uh, two other employees that worked there, uh, while uh, watching the film. Because it was uh, a movie party. If you've ever been to uh, Alamo Draft House, and you know when they have their uh, movie parties, they usually uh, put props uh, there. And they give a uh, introduction, and it was supposed to be uh, people come there to check out uh, the film on the big screen. But unfortunately, because of the cold weather here in New York uh, that we had on Friday, I guess a lot of people got a refund, and you know I was the only one that you know went to uh, there to uh, check out the film on the big screen, which uh, it looked very good on the other uh, big screen. But had a fun time, and uh, since uh, talking about the film, I want to show you the uh, the props that they uh, handed out uh, for the movie party. So they hand uh, they hand these out. So they give you like a uh, little uh, thing that of the props that you know they're giving out for the movie party. So uh, here's the. Uh, the yellow glow stick, uh, when uh, Clark Griswold's uh, house lit up, you know, you would uh, wave this up and it would glow. Uh, it also has the, uh, the necktie. This was the necktie here. So it was pretty cool. So, and then also uh, an American flag, which uh, says right here, uh, Wave this flag when Aunt Bethany says the dinner prayer, you know, like when she goes, I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America. And also uh, towards the end of the film, uh, where they're singing the, uh, the Star Spangled Banner. <laughs> so, so they got the American flag. And then uh, these are uh, air fresheners, you know, with the squirrel, you know, the scene uh, with the squirrel jumping out of uh, the tree, which is one of my uh, favorite scenes in the film. But just very absolute classic. Uh, also, I want to show this off here. So I guess, uh, you know, if the, from the movie party, they were going to do like a giveaway uh, for people to be th that, you know, people were going to be there. But unfortunately, since a lot of people uh, canceled out because of the weather, since I was the only one there, uh, they just gave me uh, this. So it's the... Uh, Clark Griswold moose mug. So this that was nice. That was nice of uh, them to uh, to give me this. So I've been looking to get this uh, for a while. The, uh, the moose mug. So, oh yeah. So that was nice of them to do that. But I haven't gone around to watching the 4K of this. But I heard it is absolutely. Uh, great the picture quality on this uh, has commentary by Randy Quaid, Beverly D'Angelo, Johnny Galecki, uh, Gale uh, Johnny Galecki, Miriam Flynn, and the director Jeremiah S. Uh, Chechnik, I think that, or Chehik, I think that's how you pronounce uh, his last name, and also uh, Maddie Simmons, who was the producer of the film. And on the Blu-ray, you get the uh, the theatrical trailer, the Christmas Vacation. Absolute classic. This film never gets old. It is absolutely hilarious. And out of all the vacation films, this one is the best. Next to uh, the original film. You know, National Lampoon's Vacation. But the 4K uh, cover to this, it's okay. You know, it resembles a uh, Christmas card. But I do really wish that they used uh, the original poster 
which was uh, Chevy Chase, you know, being electrocuted. I really do wish that they used uh, that post because whenever I came across uh, this film, it would always, you know, be that poster. But uh, if you haven't seen Christmas Vacation, you must be living under a rock. And I also picked up the Screen Factory uh, 4K of The Craft, which stars uh, Feruza Bulk, Robin Tooney, Nev Campbell, and Rachel True. You know, about these uh, girls who uh, do witchcraft. And I haven't seen the film until I uh, bought this on 4K. I've heard, you know, good things about it. So I ended up watching it. And I really enjoy it. It's a fun uh, film. It's very 90s. And I like the uh, the four uh, girls here. You know, they all did uh, really well. And it has a uh, new 4K restoration that was done by Sony. It has a commentary with the director, uh, Andrew Fleming. And then on the Blu-ray... It has a whole lot of features. It has directing the craft, an, an interview with uh, Andrew Fleming, uh, producing the craft, an interview with producer uh, Douglas Wick, writing the craft, an interview with the writer Peter uh, Ful Fulardi, affecting the craft, an interview with the makeup effects supervisor Tony Gardner, uh, the commentary by Andrew Fleming, uh, a vintage featurette, the making of the craft, uh, vintage featurette, deleted scenes with commentary, and the trailer. So, but I know that they did a sort of like uh, reboot of uh, this, which I don't care to see. Uh, it came out like two years ago uh, in 2020. But uh, this has uh, also Dolby Vision uh, on the film. The Craft, if you guys haven't seen it, it's an awesome, fun uh, film. You know, it's very 90s. But check it out if you guys haven't seen it. And then I picked this up, and this is an absolute masterpiece of a film. I reviewed this film. It's one of my favorite uh, Gregory Peck films, and that is To Kill a Mockingbird. This is the, uh, the 60th anniversary edition of, uh, of the film. So, didn't get a chance to watch this on 4K, but I heard that the picture quality is amazing. Uh, the, I forgot to mention the picture quality on the craft uh, was uh, very good as well. The same with the audio. But uh, this has uh, To Kill a Mockingbird, All Points of View. Delve deep into the impact and legacy of To Kill a Mockingbird in this new documentary as film historians, scholars, and Gregory Peck's grandson, Christopher Peck, reflect on the messages of hope, courage, and integrity that are still relevant 60 years after the film was released. And it has two feature-length documentaries, uh, Fearful Symmetry and A Conversation with Gregory Peck. Uh, Gregory Peck's... Uh, Acceptance speech at the Academy Awards, American Film Institute Life Achievement Award, excerpt from tribute to Gregory Peck, Scout Remembers, uh, feature commentary with the director Robert Mulligan and producer Alan uh, Pecula, and a whole lot more. But just an absolute masterpiece of a film this is. Just really, really love it. If you haven't seen To Kill a Mockingbird, would highly, highly recommend you all check out this film. It's an absolute masterpiece. And then I got uh, the, 20th, the 25th anniversary uh, 4K edition of I Know What You Did Last Summer, uh, which stars, of course, Jennifer Love Hewitt, Sarah Michelle Gellar, Brian Felipe, Freddie Prince Jr., uh, Johnny Galec Galecki, uh, Bridget Wilson. Very fun 90s uh, slasher film. Uh, this is, I uh, haven't seen this in a while, but I remember uh, really enjoying it. 
I know that they did a uh, sequel uh, called I Still Know What You Did Last Summer, which I heard was uh, not that great. And then they did another one that was like direct to video, but didn't get to watch this on 4K yet. But this has deleted scenes, My Own Summer, an interview with the director, uh, Jim Gillespie. He knows what you did in an interview with uh, Moose Watson. So that's all on the 4K disc. On the Blu-ray disc, it has a commentary, uh, the director's short film, uh, Joyride with commentary. Now I Know What You Did Last Summer featurette. Uh, music video, Hush, performed by Kula Shaker. And the trailer. So, but really like this uh, slipcover uh, to it. Here's the back to it. So, and then, and then you get the... Uh, the original uh, cover there. So that's I Know What You Did Last Summer. We'd like to uh, revisit this film, uh, give it a watch, and uh, review it. And then here is the 30th anniversary edition of Wayne's World. You know, Wayne's World, Wayne's World, party time, excellent, extreme close up. <laughs> so, but. Absolute classic, you know, starring Mike Myers and Dana Carvey based on the Saturday Night, the Saturday Night Live skit. You also have uh, Rob Lowe, who plays uh, the villain in this. You also have uh, Tia Carrere and an appearance by Alice Cooper. You know, I really uh, liked uh, years ago when this was released on DVD, uh, this and Wayne's World 2. Uh, the DVD menu was, if you uh, remember, like the, uh, the TV Guide. Uh, network where it would have like the channels going up you know it was kind of uh like that you know the dvd menus to uh wayne's world wayne's world 2 back in the day which i still have uh the dvds of those but this has a commentary by penelope spheres uh extreme close-up and the trailer so hopefully uh they release uh wayne's world 2 on 4k uh, as well. So that's Wayne's World on uh, 4K. Pretty uh, awesome cover uh, to it. And then the last uh, film here uh, that I got is a classic. Uh, didn't get to watch uh, the 4K of this. It's a film that was written, directed, and produced by John Hughes. And that is Planes, Trains, and Automobiles, starring Steve Martin and the late great John Candy. And I heard that the picture quality on this uh, is not good. Hell, even the, the Blu-ray, uh, the picture quality on the Blu-ray of this wasn't uh, that good. But I heard that they, uh, that they DNR'd uh, the picture quality on this, which DNR, you know, it's digital noise reduction. And when that's applied, it takes out the grain. And it, if they use too much of it, it makes uh, the faces on uh, the actors look too waxy. And it makes and the DNR makes the picture quality look like the film was shot on video rather than film, because you know they take out the grain whenever they apply that. But who knows? This might be. This might the picture quality might be. A little bit slightly, slightly better than the Blu-ray. But haven't gotten around to uh, checking out the picture quality uh, on this. But the main reason why I picked this up is because it has over an hour of never-before-seen deleted and extended scenes. So that's one of the main reasons to uh, pick up this 4K for uh, those... Uh, deleted and extended scenes, so which uh, is on the uh, it's on the Blu-ray. So on the Blu-ray it has uh, legacy and new special features, including the never before seen deleted and extended scenes. So the planes, trains, and automobiles is a classic. It's a hilarious uh, film. If you guys haven't checked this out, would highly recommend it. But I know you all have probably seen this. But if you haven't, you must be living under a rock. So, but 
that's it for uh, the 4K uh, update. Here's the, uh, the stack here. So, but thank you all for watching. Hope you all enjoyed this update. Give the video a thumbs up. Comment, subscribe. And until next video, which will be my AW Dynamite review, which will be up tomorrow, of course. So until then, see you all tomorrow night for the Dynamite review.